Hello, this is Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor! Last time, we defeated the Yellow Scarves and found a new axe. So, I would like to sell my extra flail, since it's not an upgrade for anyone anymore. And the only place you can sell items is at the item shop. So, let's go take care of that. And, as you can see, with my money, I have more than enough to buy some more leather armor. So, I'd like to pick that up while I'm here. Well, I mean, I'm going to go over to the equipment shop first. And by the way, as far as equipment draw goes, everyone can equip everything, like Final Fantasy II. However, weapons have a hidden strength or intelligence requirement in order to deal full damage. And if the general doesn't meet either requirement, they'll deal half damage as normal. But fortunately, if you have at least 95 strength, you can effectively use every weapon in the game anyway. So this will never be a problem. So don't worry about it. But alright, so yeah, I wanted to get some leather armor for Guan Yu. And let's see how we're looking here. Okay, so... Yeah, let's rearrange the party order a lot here. Okay, that ought to be good enough for my needs. So now, let's get started on Chapter 2. The game doesn't actually, like, announce new chapters like uh, Dragon Warrior 4 did, but the game does keep track of where you are in the plot. The only tangible effect of this is that some characters get an agility boost based on what chapters you've completed. For now, only Guan Yu and Zhang Fei receive an agility boost of 25%, from their base agility of 58 and 60 agility, respectively. But uh, the general's hidden agility stat is fixed for everyone else. Gaining levels doesn't increase this. Speaking of levels, though, I am one experience short of reaching level 6, and there's a tactic I want to learn from that. So I'm going to fight another battle around here real quick before the next boss fight. All right. There we go. Got, well, more than enough experience now and gained a level to learn. Oh, well, yeah, we got a couple characters that can learn Cheng Ne at last. That'll really help us out a lot with dealing with castle defense, boosting your damage by about 10%. So that's pretty nice. But all right. Okay, so we got all that. How are we looking on... Soldiers, I almost said HP, but no, that wouldn't be right. Well, close enough, really, but... Okay, so, yeah, we're looking all right here, so let's head out. Oh, okay, we can go here first, I suppose. Hey, how's it going? So, let's see, this is Fa Shri Guan, or, yeah, Fa Shri Guan. And what do we got here? Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to know to go here at this point. It's just the only place you can go, really, at this point. Nuts. Well, sucks to be your side then. But yeah, if you tried coming here earlier, there would be some soldiers blocking your path and you wouldn't be able to get in. But now, somehow we're on the south side of the palisade here. Instead of the north side, but yep, we're coming after Zhang Zhuo. For boss time! Against Ha Young and Li Su. Okay, so for this one, let's see, I want to reduce the rebel forces to under 100 soldiers each. So how about we do this? Let's go, yeah, let's spread out our damage a little bit here. And then let's start out with Cheng Ne. Hopefully Mijie will be able to use that before my other party members attack. And then Chen Deng can use Lian Huo on Ha Jiang. And he's got the most strength of the generals in this battle. And fortunately, he doesn't have a ton of intelligence. So, yeah, Lian Huo will be very effective against him. Well, maybe not very effective, but I don't have to worry about, like, Wu Jian or anything like that okay so yeah i think we're looking pretty good now so let's just have my big three attack has young and the others work on those rebel forces a little bit there so i want to also save some of my 
TP for Chi Zhen. Because, yeah, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu are getting a little close to uh, getting back to below 100 soldiers. But we'll be ready for that. Okay, so, well, we still need to work on that rebel force. Okay, we'll have Liu Fang do it since, yeah, the tacticians are not doing very good at that. By the way, speaking of tacticians, uh, now that Liu Bei is gone, there's going to be a problem with learning a tactic at level 12 through Bing, which requires a tactician with at least 220 intelligence in order to learn it. But unfortunately, even if I ran from every battle, or every random battle in the game, I would still have enough intelligence or I still wouldn't. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I would still have enough experience to reach level 12 before I find another tactician with that much intelligence. So as a result, without using glitches, the only way to get that MTP game would be to level grind up to 12 with Liu Bei in the party, but it's totally not worth it. Okay, so, yeah, I think we can, uh, just have everyone attack, finish off Ha Zhuang, and that'll really help us out with wrapping up this battle. So, we'll still have more than enough MTP to beat the game, even without the one from level 12, and we can still get access to Fu Bing retroactively after finding a better tactician anyway, so it's not like you're gonna permanently miss out on it or something. So don't worry about it. Alright, so now that we've got Jiang out of the way, let's go after Li Su. And he's got quite a bit less strength than Jiang does. So that's why I went after the other guy there first. I'm not worried about the rebel forces. We'll be fine. Yeah, as you can see, they're dealing negligible damage to us anyway. There's not a huge castle defense in this battle, but I like using Cheng Ne anyway. If we can get them below 100 soldiers, then we'll be in really good shape. And maybe I could even start using Lian Huo or heal up a little bit. Oh, that reminds me. As far as... Uh, using cheesing. Uh, you can't use it outside of combat. So the only way you can heal yourself, like if you're out in the field or something, is to use an elixir. I kind of like that to uh, give both the tactics and the item healing each their own specific usage. As opposed to the usual, where you always want to use your healing magic or spells or whatever you got, instead of your limited quantity items. But yeah, why don't we uh, top off Quan Yu's soldiers a bit there, just to make sure they don't get nibbled away at their soldiers. Nibbled to death by cats. Okay, so now I think we can just go all out, we'll be fine. Hey, all right, got them all. Now, uh, Han Xiong is a general that I would like to recruit coming up here. But I have to find him in a random battle first, anyway. So let's see what we got here. Fa Jun Quan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think there'd be some soldiers standing, like, right here, blocking your path. So, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to do anything earlier in the game if you came here anyway. Oh, hmm, I heard of that guy before. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Hulo Gwen. Oh, okay. How powerful could he possibly be? Well, here, we've got, yeah, an inn at a fortress here. Most of them do not have an inn or a way to heal up. But we're still early in the game, so they're gonna help us out 
a little bit there with that. Ah, okay. Well, maybe we should head there next. What else do we got? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with them. What else do we got here? Hey, how's it going, young? Oh, you have? I only just got here, though. But sure, why not? More party members with Yang Jin. Nice thing about him is that he's got more in, more strength than my tactician, so I can finally start getting rid of them and their weak weapons and strength and all that. Well, maybe because they don't want to die? I don't know. But I do know that I want to pick up another treasure, an axe. And I'll give that to Yang Jin there. And I'll rearrange my equipment a bit later. Let's see, what else do we got around here? Oh, and by the way, with Yang Jin, if you recruit him, you'll be able to recruit another party member a bit later on in the game. Although it's not critical to what I want to do, it's just available there if you, you wanted to do that. But can we defeat the mighty Lu Bu at Hu Lao Gwen Fortress? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.